the opportunity or the choice uh, to allow all of our thoughts, emotions, sensations and any experience to be as it is, is right here. To not reject, defense, protect or avoid, replace, indulge our data streams. That's, we call everything we perceive data streams, thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences voices <laughs> so the, the choice to rely on open intelligence to rest completely body and mind like a jellyfish <laughs> in the water <laughs> that's a good I, I heard it in one of the talk from Candice and it was like wow that's brilliant like a jellyfish so to rest body and mind and uh, resting naturally with everything that comes up right here I mean, it's crazy if we listen to all of our voices here. You will not sit here. I will not sit here for sure. And it's, uh, it's just irresponsible way of being. <laughs> we don't want it for ourselves and for others. And to get to know ourselves as we are, completely as we are, by the power of open intelligence, short moments of open intelligence, short moments of completely relaxing, complete relaxation, short moments of allowing the flow of our data streams to be as they are, without doing anything. You know, I, I did so many things to control the flow of my thoughts or emotions. Um, I thought that by avoiding my feelings, negative feelings, I, I, would be, I would feel better. But actually it came after me, <laughs> everywhere I went, <laughs> trying to avoid, trying to avoid, and then it pops in. And it's even, even more overwhelming or uncontrollable like truly feeling out of control. And same with positive, I would say, trying to keep, maintain the positivity, maintain my positive identity, my positive style of thinking about things, but then not really managing to hold it in place. Because someone will say something to me that was irritating, or someone would gossip about me and I would hear about that, and then it would be so hurtful. And so, you see, we cannot really control the flow of our data streams. It's so unpredictable. So why, why do we need to do that? Let it all be as it is, in complete equalness and evenness. Rely on what is um, always present. And what is always present is open intelligence. That's what you heard in the introduction. It's stop thinking for a moment and recognize what is at the basis of everything. Recognize the power to know the power to know your thoughts and emotions, what is looking for your eyes, what is listening to these words. That's open intelligence. And rest there. Know that it's always there. It's always there when you're thinking too. It's always there when you're sensing and feeling too. It's not going anywhere. Did you feel that it went somewhere? It's, it's just here all the time. So it's a crucial point to see that open intelligence is present while we're thinking or whether we're not thinking, it doesn't matter. But just initially to introduce ourselves, we see, okay, we stop thinking, we see, okay, open intelligence is there, and then I'm thinking and open intelligence is there too. So open intelligence is present also when we are positive or negative. And lasting for short moments or relaxing for short moments, repeated many times like the jellyfish. And saying that, oh, I'm, I'm actually completely stable. I can allow myself to be as I am. I can allow myself to be negative, positive. It doesn't mean I'm acting on everything I feel or think. Actually, it doesn't mean that at all. It means that we, um, we're able to see more clearly what will be of most benefit for ourselves and others. I mean, when we are more relaxed, we just see what to do. Know, how to respond to situations, what to say, um, how to maintain complete stability and open-heartedness towards ourselves and others. We're not jumping in from every emotions we feel or, or think. I mean, it doesn't matter what we think and feel. Really, for me, I can say it doesn't matter anymore. That's amazing. The end of gossiping, the end of criticizing. There is no need to do it anymore. Why? Because by allowing everything to be seen as open intelligence, to be recognized, to deeply felt, to deeply feel everything, allow that to be as it is, then you, you open up to 
the heart of the benefit of all. You truly see what is of benefit. You don't want anymore to use this mind that we have in a harmful way towards yourself and others. You naturally stop doing that. And that's the effortlessness that comes about in relying on open intelligence and the support we have. Because it's confirming over and over again that we are truly beneficial by nature. That everything about us is completely beneficial. Our mind is vast and open. Of course, we have negative thoughts and emotions, complaints, criticism, gossiping. We can, we can sit there and speak about it for ages, but who cares? Who cares when the world is in, at need of benefit? So you see, we have to step up right here for the benefit of all, to make a change from within. Who cares about all the stories, descriptions? Do we want to continue to limit ourselves with our thoughts and emotions, believing that we are victims of everything we feel and think? Do we really want to continue to live like that? I, 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 I didn't want to live like that anymore. I don't know what about you. I'm sure you really want to be of benefit to yourself and your family, your friends. Everyone want that. Even the most um, horrible people we think they are, they also wish for the benefit of all. It's not being able to deal with the anxiety, with the suffering that people are experiencing, that they just go wild, out of control, and doing really what their voices are telling them. Because there is no other voice. There is no open intelligence. There isn't the recognition of open intelligence. You see, so that's why the balanced view comes about to introduce everyone to the power to know, to the right to the nature of the mind, the right of everyone. Everyone has the right to know that they are truly beneficial by nature. And what you will discover in this training, in, in, in the empowerment network of the four mainstays, is that, that you have 100% support, generous, heartfelt support for you to know yourself as you are and to see that there is no problem about anything that you feel or think. So how amazing is that? Like, we really don't want anything. We just want to share our experience and that's what you get here, that everyone is completely dedicated for that. You might not believe it, or, but you will believe it at one point. You will see it in your own experience how people just operate here relying on open intelligence and seeing that there is no problem. There is no gossip going on here at the center. It's amazing. No criticism. Everyone can be as they are. It's not that we have whole books. You come in and you have to tick what you need to do here or to wear certain clothes or to say certain things. We're all so different and yet united. Yeah. United in uh, the power that we have to be of benefit and that's our focus as well. Everyone's focus is that, but to be distracted by our thoughts and emotions, it's, it's like, um, it's always failing, <laughs> failing to see ourselves as powerful, failing to see ourselves as naturally beneficial. It's good to fail over and over again and to see that it doesn't work too. It's a good fail to recognize that data doesn't have independent nature doesn't have power over you, like you can't really see it, you can't really, you can't really show it to anyone here. You can't really show your thoughts and emotions, they're so unpredictable. Can you see that in your own experience? They're so just ceaseless, so dynamic, but then it's no problem at all. We just allow them to be as they are. They are inseparable from open intelligence, inseparable from that power to be of benefit to all. So all this uh, criticism, gossiping, it, there's nothing, we don't need to get rid of that. What I saw in my own experience is that by allowing all this perception, description, stories about people to be as it is, to take a short moment, there is an immediate destroying of the data, destruction. It's like you don't even need to say anything about anyone else. And even if you find yourself saying, you, you recognize that you don't want to say that anymore. Because you feel for yourself how hurtful it is to speak in such way about people.
but you see it comes about naturally. So there is nothing to force, again, the effortlessness of open intelligence, how it comes about in our own experience in a powerful way, it suddenly informs the body, the speech, the qualities and activities in a powerful way. And you, you will be amazed to see it in yourself, how you just as you are, so natural, so happy, sad, or whatever it is, you know, whether you have a positive mind and you like it, you can rest in open intelligence. And you see how to use this positivity or whatever it is for you for the benefit of all. Like, for example, for me, I was quite positive. I didn't want to change anything about myself. But the power of the training is like, you cannot even compare positive to that. It's a complete freedom. Complete freedom in immediacy of each perception. Like being able to be positive, negative, neutral, everything in complete equalness and openness, readiness to everything. We get ready for, for everything, for our life, for our death, for things that we will face in our life, or maybe friends that we will face, we're able to support them, to bring solutions, to see solutions. We are clear, just more clear. So that's what comes about in this training. And uh, the question about physically resting, you can do that too, but you don't have to. You see, it's, that's what I like about this training. Short moments are practical, they're everywhere. The complete relaxation is equal when you're lying down or when you're so busy. It's completely equal. And you can take your time, you can rest, lie down, take a short moment and be busy and take a short moment and see that you're totally fine to do anything. So everything is open intelligence, everything about us, the, the openness to life, the living fully, feeling fully. We really want, we don't want to be numb with people, with ourselves, it's shut off, thinking something and then not speaking with people because that's what we're thinking about them. Who cares about our opinions, their opinions? We can listen openly, we can listen openly, it doesn't mean that we dismiss everyone else but we rely on the power of open intelligence in each time, place and circumstance to be of benefit to all. Like to really see what's needed right here, not in 10 years, right here, every moment. You know, we have life to do. <laughs> we have like our, our own day and if we are just collapsing in our thoughts and feelings that it's like, it's pointless. It's pointless. Where we can live amazingly together. And whatever we wish to do for ourselves and for other people, we're able to do that. We have the capacity to do, to be of benefit. That's what we find in short moments of open intelligence. So if you're a bit open uh, to try something new or to, to, to practice this very simple and profound practice of short moments, test it today, join the one day training, get to know the training to know the text that evokes that recognition that you see in yourself, within yourself, and empower your mind with beneficial qualities and activities.